I'm Rob and uh, this is Julie. Hi. And uh, this is our lovely home here in the heart of the Mendip in Somerset. We've owned this home for seven years now. We bought it from the Modern House. In 2016. 2016, mm -hmm. yeah. Right. yeah. Seems longer. <laughs> it does. We've done extensive renovations, virtually the whole place from top to toe. Absolutely love living here, but now we're moving on. It's for sale again on the Modern House. So shall we go in and have a look inside? So this is the garden room. It used to be the kitchen when we first moved in. After looking at it and living through a couple of seasons, we've completely rebuilt this. It's exactly the same shape, everything's as it was, but we've cut out some of the windows so that when you're in here, there's framed views of the different parts of Preston's Wood and the surrounding area. So you get a, it's a lovely sense of space and, 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 and privacy at the same time, really. The aesthetic of this room is, comes from our, our time we spent um, travelling around Japan. So much wood is, is a very calming influence, or we find. And the way that this room is situated, you get the sun shafting through from the morning and then it slowly moves around the different parts of the room as the day goes on. So this is the dining room. It needed quite a lot doing to it. I wanted to create some drama with the colour, hence the black walls, but also keeping all the wood which features throughout the house. Whether you're sitting this way, looking out at the garden and the woodland, or facing this way, you can look across and through to the courtyard. In fact, anywhere in the house, wherever you happen to find yourself, there's a view. Two deer came across from Preston's Wood on Christmas Day into the bottom of the garden, just while we're sitting down for Christmas <laughs> dinner. The transitions from one space to another are gentle transitions. There's a sense of flow in the house. Well, we're now in the main living space. The husband was a student of architecture and he was influenced by the famous uh, Mies van der Rohe Barcelona Pavilion, just the glass box. And so his idea was to build a glass box attached to this 17th century cottage, which is a remarkable idea for someone in the middle of Somerset. In the 60s. In the 60s. <laughs> Every single window in this house was replaced. When you're in this house, you feel you're not just in the room in your chair, you're, you're in the total environment. The structure is, is a wooden construction, and this is something we, we, we both grew up in New Zealand, so we know a lot about wooden houses. We grew up with them. I used to watch my uncle building houses out of, out of timber. This was a very natural project for us to take on. Um, it was very appealing, wasn't it, yeah. when we saw it? Because there's not that many wooden houses in the UK. These dividers were here, but in a, a, a slightly different form. They, they filled in right across, but they were very closed. So we wanted to create a flow through the house, so we removed the middle section. And they also create a separation with the rooms that are across the way, which is the um, originally were three bedrooms, but are now a kitchen, bedroom come study, and uh, the master bedroom suite. If you look out the bedroom window, there's a sequoia, which was a gift to the previous owner. I believe it was one of the very first Chinese sequoias in the country, and she planted that as a seedling. It's and it's massive. now a very tall, very beautiful tree. Let's go out and see the courtyard now. This is a courtyard. This uh, structurally, like most of the house, is as it was. However, we've completely restored it. 
We've built the, the Japanese emphasis just to continue that theme through the, through the property, marked by the wonderful Asa, which in the, in the autumn is this most wonderful red colour. In the evening, the sun comes sloping through the tree down there and you can just this lovely evening golden light comes through and it's just the most beautiful serene place to just sit and relax isn't it? It is and uh, I mean we find ourselves coming out here for morning coffee and afternoon coffee and dinner and <laughs> dinner drinks. In the evenings too we have a load of barn owls that, that live in the area and it's just magic listening to the to them calling each other. So this is Preston's cottage. This is where this was this is an old 17th century cottage. There's something just magical about the way the two work together. And it's joined by an internal staircase. So it can be used as one complete house or the bottom can be used separately for a, one or two members of the family. It's got a couple of bedrooms, bathroom, a full kitchen, a living room which opens out to a back garden. It makes the space really adaptable. You get the best of both worlds because you've got your modernist over here and you've also got your, your lovely old cottage. The lovely thing about, I think, about living here is you feel like you're a million miles from everywhere but actually you're not. It's four miles into Wells and it's only a half hour drive into Bath and 40 minutes into Bristol and everything else that, that, that Somerset offers. Glastonbury to, to beaches to Cheddar, Bruton. Cheddar Caves, Bruton of course, people love Bruton these days and that's 25 minutes. People come from all around the country to go to the to RSPB Ham Wall to see the, the starling murmurations which are just unbelievable. It's a wonderful house to live in and we've just had I have, have had such a wonderful time here. I guess if we were a little bit younger, it would be our forever house. But it's, it's a little bit large for us now. It's time to move on. It's been a real pleasure showing you around what we absolutely love and uh, we hope you've enjoyed having a look around as well. And now thank God it's over. <laughs> <laughs> Modern House, selling thoughtfully designed homes across the UK 